Week 4 Pantheon has officially started and people are struggling. This week is far harder than everybody expected it to be, but not for the same reason you might think. First of all, let's go over this week's modifiers. We have the contest modifier, which means you will be minus 20 light for the entire Pantheon run. As for the surges this week, we have solar and strand surge. And then for this week's modifier, we have shot caller. Landing rapid precision hits grants a 20% damage buff for 15 seconds. As for class setups, Warlock should run Well of Radiance or Needlestorm. I would only recommend running Needlestorm if you already have 2-3 Warlocks depending on the encounter. Hunters should run Marksman's Golden Gun plus Celestial Nighthawk or Blade Barrage with Star Eater Scales and swap to Lucky Pants if they don't have their supers. As for Titans, they should run Burning Maul with Pyrogale Gauntlets or Thunder Crash with Curse of the Falling Star. Now let's go over what loadout to use for each boss. As for Golgoroth, the first boss, since this week is Solar and Strand Surge, you should run weapons with those elements. I recommend running Whisper of the Worm since it has really good total damage output while being a very ammo sufficient option. Some other good options are the following. An Apex Predator Rocket Launcher with Bait and Switch and Reconstruction, or a Cataphract Heavy Grenade Launcher with Envious and Bait and Switch. Some alternatives to these weapons would be Cry Mutiny with Demo and Vorpal, Briar's Contempt with Rewind Rounds and Surrounded, or Reconstruction plus Focused Fury, Sleeper Simulant, Semiotician with Field Prep and Bipod, or a Cataclysmic with 4 times the Charm and Bait and Switch. As for Caretaker, the second boss, I would recommend running 4 Apex Predators, 1 Gallarhorn, and 1 Tractor Cannon. You can also run Semiotician or Cataphract, they are also both solid options. Even while being 20 light under, Caretaker is still an easy 2 floor. Uh, shot caller is if I use my primary and I shoot him in the head like this. I get shot caller. Uh, it was on. Don't rock it right here. That's why he moves. Okay. <laughs> I didn't go through it. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Wait. Little scout, I'm going down. I should have the zoom The BSP. The BSP. I got you with the assist on this. You shoot first. You need me to help you? What do you have? Oh, uh, yeah. Can you get. Stop oh, I can aim. I've got the back. I've got the running. back Stop for you. I almost have super back. I just need some arms. Uh, three fucking guys. Uh, I might get it on first. the wall. Okay. Wait for the call. Three, two, one, go. You want me to wall last? Yeah, you can. You can. Uh, I think I'll have mine back actually. Oh, perfect. Then mine. Wait for the call. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, brother, I'm being pushed. I'm really good. He's pushed up. Nice. 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 Good good stuff. I got well for you. I almost final. fucking died. Destroy them with your life. No, not even. I need to put that on now. I need to have like fucking played. kinetic surge boots or something. Not I got weaken on him. And has done. We should be good. We should be good. Sure. For Explicator, which is the third encounter, I would once again recommend four Apex Predators with one Gallahorn and one Tractor. This will once again give you an easy two-phase on this boss. Make sure you wait before killing Centurions until the Tormentor has died between phases what? to prevent any unnecessary deaths to the Lieutenants. Okay, sure that's my bad. Dead. No, I'm gonna get him here. on my way to you, Rexu. Don't worry about him. Hey, you have about. six. You have five. Wonder. Two. <coughs> Guys, please do done. not stand on the edges. Oh, it's just the phases, awesome. Just don't stand on the edges. There's always going to be one tornado every phase. Only light know. mid. I'll get that. Uh, uh, that good, okay. Bet. In the middle, oh, we I have like three. I can. Start on left side. Three, two, one, shoot. Well, get the healing aid for you guys. Three. The fire. Right side. Oh, there's some. Going back to the well, I got body blocked. Can't do much about that. It's unfortunate. Oh. Nice. Dark mid. 
I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna get light right. Sure. Give me one second, I'll go with ammo. Okay. Three, two, Three, one, two go. one, go. Metal next. Right side. Three. New well, new well, oh, new well, new well. You guys need Three, something. two, one, shoot. We can step on left plate again if we need to. It stays up for a while. Bane the tornado. Um, middle is next. Middle is next. Chill, chill, chill. We'll kill, we'll kill, we'll kill. You guys got it. You guys got it. I just do. Nice. Jeez, bro. I'm surprised we cleared that with like that many deaths. For Atrax, which is the fourth boss, I would recommend having as many Thundercrash Titans running Curious of the Falling Star as possible to ensure an easy one floor. Make sure you have all six players run Parasite on this encounter and get 20 Worms Hunger Stacks before DPS starts for maximum damage. I'm taking my time, Kui. I'm just letting you know I got you. I'm coming up. Thank you for Still, sprint, bro. Sprint. I was looking for Ed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I entered it like twice. Or got pinged as well. Three, two, one, go. Alright. That's why I'm out. Ready. Three, two, one, shoot. He's <laughs> actually so. so My replication is on one second, bro. For Oryx, run six Whisper of the Worms for a free two phase. Depending on how many hunters you have, you could even get a one phase on this boss. Make sure you kill the Blight Eater Knights to prevent losing any Blights. That is going to be your number one priority throughout this encounter. I clipped anyway. I'm the like minus 20 everything. is yeah. definitely hitting. Up right. It just feels like I'm taking... Yeah, I only feel a little bit more. Top left taken. We also top need right, top left mate. Uh, I got you with the heal peat. Oh, yeah. Even you. though you don't need it. I'm just disabled there now. I can't do it. I'm staying in middle. Get your Wait, own what things. What the heck? Are you a tweaking? No, I was standing still because I had the torn. He was grabbing. Get in. Oh, you got okay. hit. If I was I'm in the middle, I was middle. Gonna I'll get well. Fucking body eater. I'm just trigger happy as fuck. Okay, torments are shooter shoulders, just shoot shoulders. If it's knights, we start moving. Give him a second. It's not knights, it's not knights. I just nice. don't know if it's really worth it. Bro, that's fine. Just take <laughs> You suspended him, bro. Bro was not leaving. <laughs> I got well burst. I got. Sorry, that was my bad. I was gonna pop. Oh, brother. Get him, get him, get him. Get in. Can someone give me radiant? Real quick, please. Uh, melee, no? Okay. Stop moving, you're... I know. I was well aware. I have no ammo. Get well for a second. Fine. Let's go there. For Rulk, the sixth boss, I would recommend running Divinity with Apex Predators and Izanagi's Burdens, but running something like a Sleeper Simulant on this encounter or Cataclysmic is going to be a much less risky alternative, while still putting out decent damage. What are our left calls? Slow. Oh, sorry, not bad, not bad. Yep. Yeah. Bro, why does my Izzy do, like, nothing? Huh? <coughs> Wanna play so well in middle? That's timing. Fuck your shot color. Oh, he one-shot me! What? Watch. Fucking one-shot me. Dude, why? Oh my god, dark. Bro, this guy is coming. Oh, 
Damn, bro. Of course, you're just following me the entire fucking game. I mean, you guys. Damage. Behind you. Pecans. Like, this is so scary. Just fucking aping me. Sure, I need to play my watch out, Kobe. He's dead ass on my head. Just behind us all. Be careful. I don't, don't push. Oh! Don't push, don't he push. just fucking appeared next to me. I'm but he didn't hit sure, me. Sure, sure. We need a script to go. Bro, uh, damage. We have token. I'm gonna get him. <coughs> just keep the boss still again. I'm literally just a fucking bro. beam, dump, bro. Dump, 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 go dump, crazy, dump. go crazy. Go crazy. Easy. Nice. I'm not gonna lie. I did at least 50% of the total damage there. For Riven, the seventh boss, surprisingly, not much has changed on this encounter. The only changes here are when you first start the encounter, there will be phalanxes in front of each door when you go down. There are also minotaurs that spawn in each room now. So a lot of your damage throughout this encounter will come from popping Riven's pimples. For DPS, I would recommend running Apex Predators. You can run one tractor cannon and hit her nails with it right before DPS starts. Just make sure you don't run a Galahorn as the wolf pack round could accidentally break one of her eyes. Grenade launchers are also a good option here, even just running Whisper would be fine. As for breaking Riven's crits, I would recommend running a scout rifle or a hand cannon. And for popping her pimples, I would recommend something like a sniper or even swapping to an LMG after damage phase to break the pimples. Hello snipers. Oh. You ready, Great? How is this guy still alive? Oh. Three, two, one, shoot. I'll help you. I don't want to do more damage. Uh, no, I did. Hey, you guys got them, I'll keep the rest of the heads. R1, R4. R1, R1. Oh, yeah. yeah. End fish. We'll shoot. Well, is in the back. Don't get hit by the ogre, please. I will call out when we shoot. Oh, quick. Everybody ready? Yeah. Three, yeah. two, one, shoot. I'm getting pushed. Shoot R2, 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 R2. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Nice. Thank you. I got it. I'm gonna save my rock. Too easy, bro. Damn. Like, it's literally the same encounter, but like, what, a minotaur? <coughs> I mean, yeah, pretty much it. That's crazy. I guess the mechanics are too complicated. So just... Yeah, I'm... Mm. that's crazy. Oh, yeah, like, I knew that shit does. That does more damage than it does. For Nezrak, the eighth and final boss of Week 4 Pantheon, from what I have seen and been told by various people in the community, most teams are having issues clearing this encounter. The changes for this encounter are as follows. The yellow bars on the left and right side now have light and darkness shields and you need to have their respective buffs to damage them. The second change in this encounter is when doing the mechanic to prevent Nezarak from wiping you, there are going to be darkness beams that hit you while standing on the plate. The third change is during the DPS phase, there will once again be darkness beams that come down, so do not stand on plates or close together while doing damage. For loadouts, I would recommend running 5 sleepers plus 1 divinity, preferably have a warlock with xenotaph run divinity to mark the yellow bars for free heavy. Hunters, I would recommend running at least 1 tether if you don't want to run div. Another solid DPS option here would be to run cataphracts or other grenade launchers potentially. Even running apex predators here would be fine, but from what I have been told and seen, the sleepers plus one divinity is going to be the safest and easiest strat for clearing this boss, even potentially getting a two phase. But on a weekend, bro. Slow, eh? Oh, dude. Oh, okay. Where's me? How did I even, like, what did I hit, 
This is stupid damage. It's so free, it's unbelievable. I told you. This is stupid we damage, bro. Chad, we didn't what even is try, this bro. Damage, bro. And, and, you, and you still have like a shit ton of ammo, yeah? I Tier 3 sub if that was good damage. Um, <laughs> how much ammo do you have? 3 sub if that was good damage. Bro, Ready? We let you go. Come on, man. Yeah, wait, wait, Bruce, wait, are you in the chat? Can I send you this footage and then you add this for Nezirak instead? As the gameplay? Why? Because that other one was shit. Remember Class Wolf? I mean, uh, Shot, shot Call? They have a little bit of heavy for <coughs> I've got seven shots. I have nothing. I'm not a heavy I'll, and I'll be special. Special? No way, windows, windows. Easy claps. And that is going to be it for my week four Pantheon guide. I hope you guys enjoyed. I tried to get the information across as quick and as concise as possible. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them down below in the comments or join my Discord server. I'm always available to talk there. And when I am live streaming on Twitch, you can also ask me any questions you may have in my chat. I will also be streaming week four Pantheon carries all day tomorrow. So if you would like to, feel free to stop by, enter the raffle, see if you can get a run. And I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more content in the future. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.